What's up, YouTube? It's Jacob from Always Fresh Apparel, and today we are talking fall. What outerwear and like button-ups, hoodies, jackets, I'm gonna be personally rocking for fall. Before we get into the clothes, I wanna talk about a new app um, that I found called Sneakerheads Amino. So, as you guys know, um, I get countless emails from brands and companies um, that basically want to be featured on the channel. Like, I'm sure like YouTubers have talked about this, you guys know. Um, what you guys don't know is how many of them we turn down. And me personally, I've turned down. Like, it's crazy. It's like 90% get turned down just because it's just not the right fit. Um, when Sneakerheads Amino hit me up, I was like, man, okay, this is something I can get behind. Um, it's definitely something that falls in line with what I'm doing. Um, and it's an amazing community, so let me talk about it. So basically, download the app. Um, it is available on iOS, Android, and Google Play. So just go to your app store and search up Sneakerheads Amino. It'll be the first thing to pop up. The app is a friendly and active community for you to meet other sneakerheads, discuss like sneakers. Basically, you can create like blog posts and you can like chat with people. Basically, just talking about sneakers. I actually am in a chat recently where dudes are basically just like, hey, what do you guys think about these? Um, hey, I got these for sale. Does anyone want to buy them? It's just like kind of a way for you to make money, first of all, and two, um, meet up with people that are like-minded like you. That's what I, I, I felt is so amazing on YouTube is I've met up with so many people that share the same passion for fashion, oh, wow, I rhyme, that I do. So Sneakerheads Amino is a great way for sneaker guys to do that as well. You can post like blog posts. So I'm gonna write a blog post um, and I want you guys to check it out. Um, make sure you follow me, by the way, it's Jacob Keller. They gave your boy a verified account since Twitter won't. Thank you, Sneakerheads Amino. And definitely make sure to follow me. I will follow all of you back um, because I'm super new to the app and I wanna have as many feeds as possible. And since I'm not showing off shoes in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna post all the fall shoes that I'm gonna be rocking on the app. So it's kind of a cool way for you to get a behind the scenes that not everyone can see. So all the sneakers that I'm gonna be rocking, I'm gonna be posting on Sneakerheads Amino. So link to download and link to follow me will be in the description down below. And if you don't just like sneakers, the Amino company does like a bunch of other apps that you guys can check out as well. Let's get into the clothes. Thank you so much, Sneakerheads. Like, I'm glad that you guys are doing something like uh, positive for the community because the sneaker community, it can get super negative. Um, I've, I've dealt with it. I know a lot of other people have. So appreciate you guys doing something good for the community. So let's get into what I'm rocking. Let's do it. Basically, me and my friend Alex Belcher, as you guys know, the homie, we just like talk about like clothes and fashion and like brands that we like and what we're gonna wear. We've been super stuck on this season, fall 2015. We both really aren't sure what direction we want to just like dress in. Um, I know everyone's like, well, it just should be organic. You have to know what you want to wear so you can go out and buy those types of things. So I'm kind of, this is kind of what I already have that I'm going to be rocking and I am still looking for a couple other pieces. I basically, I know I've said this before in so many other videos, I basically just want to keep like a couple outfits and a couple jackets and a couple pants and a couple hoodies on rotation and like make it just super easy. First of all problems, I just have a lot of clothes and it's hard for me sometimes to pick and choose what I really like versus what I kind of like. So I really just want to invest in things that like, yeah, they might be pretty expensive at first. That's stuff I'm gonna wear forever. Um, so these are some of those pieces. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be, um, basically what I'm gonna be for this fall is I'm gonna be like a, a leather jacket guy, um, an overcoat guy, and then probably just a couple random like bombers and like denim jackets sprinkled in. That's mainly what I'm gonna wear. Mixed in with a couple flannels and like two or three hoodies, calling it good. Like that's, and then one good, um, super good raincoat. So let's get into some of the stuff. Um, I'm not gonna try anything on because you guys have seen a lot of it, um, but I'm basically gonna be rocking this Mr. Completely Moto Zip flannel, um, oversized with this black and white checkered plaid right here. Amazing fit. Awesome brand, so why the hell not support it? This is one you guys haven't seen. I caught this new like brass yellow flannel by Giovanni um, NYC. They actually sell at Macus. Um, they have like a Riri zipper going down instead of buttons. So that's why I was like, damn, this is dope. Um, I got a size small. I kind of wanted this one to be fitted and this one to be oversized. So this is like my fitted flannel for the for the year. And it kind of reminds me of my grandpa, man. Like my grandpa used to wear like super like yellow flannels like this and it's kind of like a throwback. Um, rest in peace, grandpa, I love you. This is kind of like an homage to him. So Giovanni, New York, right there on the tag. Shout out my man, who is J. Cole? Jacob Wallace the man behind Cleanest Apparel, that amazing YouTube channel has taken off recently. He has a clothing brand called Who Is Jacob, and if you see me in black skinny crop trousers, it's my motherfucking man, Who Is Jacob, that, that made those jeans, um, and they're awesome. They're the best fitting jeans I own. He also makes hoodies. So we have this olive, super soft cotton hoodie with the side slits, the tapered sleeves, 
the raglan cut, the back stitch. Basically, I want a really dope one olive hoodie. That's it, like, give me one. Like, that's all I need. And talking about give me one, just give me, okay, I'm, I'm messing up. Give me one black hoodie. That's all I want. The John Elliott villain that I had was just too big on me. I got an XL, too big. So I, um, uh, Revolve Clothing sent me this Mr. Completely, um, the Moto Zip hoodie with the zips on the sleeves and then the side slits with the back stitch and raglan cut with the overlapping hood right here. And it fits awesome. It's a medium, it fits me fitted. Um, this is gonna be my black hoodie that I wear underneath like an overcoat. So, Mr. Completely, this is the hoodie. If you see me rocking a black hoodie, it's this one. That's all I'm gonna do, just that. Okay, I'm standing up now. I'm standing up now. Getting into some of the bombers I'm gonna be rocking, I'm gonna keep this public school one in heavy rotation. This is that um, one I bought, I think a year back, and it's got, it's reversible, so right now I have it on the black side um, with, the, uh, with the olive um, cuff, but if you were to take this re-re-zip down, you would see that there is olive on the inside, so you can actually turn this inside out, because like the tag's right here, so this is actually, but it also has like pockets on the outside, so that's how you know that it is reversible, so. This is one bomber I'm gonna keep in rotation. Another bomber I'm gonna keep in rotation is that Marcella Wash Balmer. Um, if you remember my past video, some dude, that's how some dude spelled it. I'm gonna put text right here. That's how he spelled it, bam. This is my Margella washed, um, like light blue bomber, like a flight jacket almost with the collar right here. Um, the fabric is incredible. I almost said in crazy. It's in crazy, incredible and crazy together. And it just fits super dope. It's like oversized. It's kind of like, oh, I'm a pilot, you know, like I'm getting ready to take off um, and steal your girl, so it's like, this is a really dope bomber. You're gonna be seeing me wear this, bam. Okay, I thought I was only gonna wear black, but you know what? I'll do a little bit of a Rick Owens charcoal. I don't care. This is this Rick Owens, um, I don't even know what you would call it, M65 jacket. I don't even know what that means. I got this off grailed off a of homie. Shout out you, man. I appreciate you. Um, I didn't wear this last, last like um, spring uh, because I wasn't sure how I wanted to wear it and my style didn't totally reflect it. But now I think that, um, I can, I think that I have a little bit more confidence now to pull this off. So Rick Owens, like corduroy, like a bunch of pockets on the front and jacket. And the one that I am the most stoked about, um, this Mr. Completely Denim Jacket. For Macus, since I love analytics and I love numbers and I love getting into the back end of things, this is our most viewed product on our website besides the Easy Boost. So this jacket, it's like, it's not just me that loves it. Like it's, it's basically proof that like everyone loves this jacket. So most viewed product um, and there's a, it's, it's just that freaking good. Um, zips on the side, zips on the sleeve. I put these uh, different like pins and like no love pins on it. So it gives it a little bit of my flavor. And then you've got like a distressed collar right here. Um, Big Sean was seen rocking this. Miguel was seen rocking this. Um, the Weeknd just did a full Mr. Completely outfit in his new video, Tell Your Friends. Um, so if you aren't on the brand list completely, which I got three things in this video, start now. Okay, my leather. Maccus actually just got in a new collaboration leather with Layer that I'm actually gonna buy as well. Um, so that's gonna be my heavy leather. That's like, it's like super, like crazy heavy, durable. And this is gonna be like my more lightweight leather. So this is by Au Courant. Alex sold this to me. Um, it's pretty light. It's very, very light. Um, so I can wear a hoodie underneath it. Um, and I can wear this like with just a t-shirt like in the spring. Whereas that Maccus leather, the layer one, I'll probably wear that more like when it gets super cold. So this is kind of like, I, you shouldn't really have two leather jackets, but whatever, I'm me. So um, this is my Oak Front one. I wore this last night to the um, Vic Mensa concert. Super dope, check out my Twitter, Jacob J. Keller. I posted a video, he did you mad at the very end. Oh my God, yeah, it was dope. Okay, now I'm gonna be an, uh, now I'm gonna be an overcoat boy. Okay, so um, I, how much more time I got left on this? Okay, I'm good. Um, for this one, this is a wings and horns overcoat that I bought off Grailed. Um, I got it for a super steal. This is like a $550 jacket. Okay, wait, $550 jacket. Can you even see me? I'm squatting. $550 jacket, got this for 100 bucks shipped. Don't fucking tell me you can't find steals. Wings and horns. <laughs> It's like this super, I don't even know, like cotton material. Let me look on the inside. Yeah, it's 67% cotton, 33% wool. Pretty lightweight, it's actually not too heavy. So layer this with a hoodie and you're gonna be looking dope. It's got like a shorter collar, size medium, wings and horns, bam. My black overcoat. This is the one that Chapter sent me like 
a super long time ago. So shout out my boys chapter, I appreciate you. They, this is actually like almost like a neoprene feel material one, not really though. This is actually totally waterproof. Rain just like bounces off this. So it looks dope and it's functional and if you were to flip the collar up, which you can do, um, you got this leather on the inside of the collar, which is dope, so it makes you look like a badass. Um, and you're wicking the wane away. Ha! You're wicking the wane away. You're wicking the rain away. So here you guys go, chapter. They're actually doing another overcoat for this fall that I'm gonna cop. Um, it's more like a wool one with like a gray collar and black sleeves. So that's called the Sebastian coat, and I'm gonna cop that one as well as this one. I already cop this one, so. Okay, bam. Um, you guys see me in the gram? This is like one of my most worn overcoats. This is by my man, Michael Cohen, Shades of Grey. This is when people called me um, Willy Wonka and the Joker because it's got that plum back. I love it because it has like different colors and it's not just black. Like it has like this royal blue on the front and then this plum on the back and then black sleeves. This is one of the best fitting overcoats I have. Um, it does have like a shorter collar as well. So I do normally wear it like up like this instead of folded down. Fits awesome. Um, shout out my man, Micah, you killed this jacket. It's still gonna be in rotation a year later. That's how you know something's good. Micah Cohen. And then last up, shout out my man by H. Those are pretty like formal, like they have the, the collars and they have like all the lapels and all that stuff, like all the pockets, like normal. Um, but when I want when I'm feeling a little bit more, you know, New York, like a little bit swaggy, I'm gonna bust out the by H. Um, this is collarless, it has no collar, it has like dropped shoulder sleeves right here as you guys can tell doesn't even have any buttons on the sleeves um it is a like four flap you guys have seen this in a video before but like four flap bottom um there's just one button closing it right here this jacket man is awesome it's got like a, a back stitch going down and a back stitch going across like that with like all black like you know white maybe like a white button up um this is like a little bit more drastic so that's when i'm going to be rocking it you heard it here first bam Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm not mad in these videos. Someone's comments last time said I seem mad. I'm just having fun with it, man. Like, because I did lose a little bit of, uh, of passion for it. Um, and that's kind of why I took that break. Um, and I know that a lot of other YouTubers, I think we are the trend is taking a break too. It's just like, when there is so many other people doing it and we just kind of, I know that like everyone's like, well, you guys were the first ones to do it. Like you guys were the OGs and it's like, yeah, like I, I, yeah, totally. But like when there's a lot of people doing it, you just kind of lose a little bit of like passion for it. Um, but I'm back, I'm doing my thing. I'm trying to have a little bit more fun with it. I'm not a douchebag, I swear. I'm not an asshole. Like I just act like this on camera. Um, but in, in all honesty, like if coming to Mac to talk to me, like I was saying, I'm, I'm a good guy. Like I'll, have, I'll love to have conversations with you guys. So, um, Sneakerheads Amino, make sure you follow me on Sneakerheads Amino and download the app. Um, I will be posting all my shoes on my fall shoes on there. So thank you guys again. Thank you guys again for watching. And remember to stay fresh, my friends. Peace.